The gorgeous weather this weekend gave people the opportunity to get outside, but it also shined a light on the fact that maybe we can do better when it comes to social distancing. Six on your side, Steve Dent talked with a local bar owner who's concerned that we aren't taking COVID 19's high risk of transmission seriously enough. Sud's Tavern has been a staple in Boise since 1954. And like every other bar in the city of trees, it's closed because of the coronavirus. It could be several months, you know, and I, I know I speak for a lot of people that own small businesses. It's going to be a struggle to stay afloat after all this blows over and, and people just aren't taking it serious. It wasn't hard to find people around Boise enjoying the weather. But we saw several examples of people not practicing social distancing. I understand people were trying to get out and they're probably going a little stir crazy, but it's just it concerned me that people are getting out and, and meeting up in groups. Scott Bernie took a trip to Lucky Peak on Saturday in an effort to get his dog out of the house. But he says there were so many people that Bernie came back to Boise without even getting out of his car. Every little lean to was full of people having picnics, you know, and dogs running all around and people running around everywhere and I just I was I was just surprised to make matters worse for Scott Bernie he worries for his father who has a terminal lung disease these people don't think about that kind of stuff I can't go over and see him you know until this stuff is over that might mean I might be able to see my dad for you know several months so Bernie asked people to take social distancing seriously in an effort to slow the spread of the coronavirus which is having a major impact on Scott Bernie's life people need to stop worrying about themselves and start thinking about other people and if you're thinking about traveling further north we've heard from leaders in Stanley McCall Cascade Donnelly Garden Valley Crouch those communities thrive off of tourism but they're asking people to stay home because they don't have the infrastructure to deal with a possible coronavirus outbreak it's an interesting time, but a time where we all need to do our part. Steve Dent, six on your side. The owner of Suds Tavern also tells us he'd like to see more of a regional or statewide approach because while the bars in Boise are shut down, people can head over to Garden City, Meridian and other areas if they want to visit a bar.